there are many ways to examine the problem of climate change. Some people do that by running climate models, running them forward and projecting the future. And they maybe don't have all of the different kinds of ways that the climate system operates. And other of us in the community take a different approach and we look to reconstruct the climates of the past to understand how the climate system operates. We don't get a continuous record of the past when we look on land. But if we go out into the ocean, this gentle rain out of sediments over time captures beautifully those leaf waxes. These are molecules made by plants and they cover the soft tissues of the plant. And the really remarkable thing about these molecules is that they're preserved in sediments in soils and in the sediments under lakes and out in the ocean for millions of years. So we go out to sea with big ships as part of an international drilling effort to take sediment cores out in the ocean basin. And those sediment cores allow us to go back many millions of years. And it's like a layer cake and we can go back through time and read the, the layers of history back through tens of millions of years and we can see how the landscape has shifted. In my lab, we take those ocean sediments and we extract all of the organic matter out of the sediments by pumping solvents through the sediments and that dissolves the leaf waxes and other molecules. And then we purify out the compounds that come from marine algae and the compounds that come from plants on land. And with that, then we can get a pure enough sample that we can reconstruct what the climate system was like. We take those leaf waxes, we purify them, and then we take them to the instruments and we analyze their isotopic composition. We look at their carbon isotopes. Carbon isotopes tell us about the types of plants that were present. Were they grasses? Were they trees? And we can also measure the hydrogen isotopes. And those isotopes tell us about rainfall. And they tell us whether it was wetter or whether it was drier. And so we can tease that information out of these sediment cores. And my research interests in particular are to look for these warm periods. These warm periods that are a little bit warmer than today that give us clues as to how the climate system will operate when we have less ice than we do today on the planet. How will the winds shift? How will the rain patterns shift? We have wonderful laboratories where undergraduates can get research experiences and often in these uh, teams with graduate students who are pursuing their PhD degrees and this is not something that's available at every university. This is a real benefit of being part of the Dornsife College.